Hey guys, as always, I hope that everybody is doing really well. So today's reading, this is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections. And yeah, I don't really have much to say before we get started other than that I will be posting information on, on the cord cutting sessions that I will be um, offering very, very soon. So do be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I think that's it. This is going to be a general reading, so always keep that in mind. It's not going to be for everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all the information for those in the description box below this video. And yeah, thank you everybody that has donated um, recently to my channel. It really does help me out so, so much. Um, so if you do find that my readings resonate with you or are helpful, you might want to consider donating. It does help me to keep this going. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, so starting off with the masculines, let's see what is going on for the masculines currently. What do we need to know? All right, we have two cards here. We got meditation and we have message. All right, really interesting. Um, there's a lot of contemplation that is happening. That's what I'm getting with this meditation card. Um, a lot of them are actually meditating, thinking about um, reaching out to the feminine if you are not in contact, possibly sending you a text message or just any kind of communication, passing on some kind of a message, even if it's indirectly to you. All right, and for some of you, this might actually be happening. And for others, it's that they are still thinking a lot about this, really meditating on this. Um, if you are in contact, again, I feel like there is, oh, it's actually going the other way around. There is a message that the masculine has received from you and is meditating on that message. And that message doesn't have to be something like specific that you like specifically stated. It could be like an overall message from various previous conversations or um, events from the feminine towards the masculine. And this could even be the case for those of you who are not in communication as well. It goes for both. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see what else. That was a very specific message. So let's see what else for the masculines. Okay, so we have the number 24 and the number 15 from this deck. Um, this one is actually, it doesn't look like it, but this, this card is actually called strategy. Um, and this one is answering the call. So whatever this um, message is that they are getting, or um, for some of them even wanting to communicate, but more specifically, I feel like this is the message that they have picked up on from their feminine. It's, they're coming up with some kind of a strategy, answering the call, like actually taking that message and really putting it to use, like actually applying it or wanting to bring it to the 3D. Like it's it's like forming a strategy based off of some message that the feminine has given to the masculine. So I feel like, yeah, basically the second deck is just confirming what we got from the first deck here. So, all right, very strong message then. We got it twice. So let's... Let's get into the tarot. So let's see the general energy for the masculines. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and then we have the Knight of Swords, which was actually, it, it came out like in reverse, but as I kept shuffling, it was like slowly turning upright. So I do feel like that is actually a message. Um, it's very symbolic for me that it's like the masculine is moving from being the Knight of Swords in reverse, gradually moving towards being upright, okay? so. Yeah, the masculine at the moment is feeling very trapped. Um, there's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of overanalyzing for whatever their situation is. 
uh, especially concerning the feminine though. This is this eight of swords is specific to the feminine. They're actually feeling trapped in the connection with the feminine. And it's like, because of that, because of that, they're moving from inaction, slowly moving up towards taking action, which I feel is that is what is answering the call, right? Queen of Cups, listening to their intuition, but not only that, to the, like having received that vibration from the feminine, that message, and because that message has come from a place of love from the feminine, right? So they're picking up on that. And that is what is pushing them forward here. However, at, at this point in time, it's like they're still in that meditation, still in that contemplation, still thinking about it, about that message and how to actually apply it. And part of this is happening for some of them a little bit subconsciously. It's like whatever the feminine has put forth, it's like that is taking shape. It's, it's creating some kind of an arousal. It's like bubbling up in the masculine's energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on for them mentally. What is going on in their thoughts? about the feminine. All right, they're all in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow, all right. For a lot of masculines, they're feeling like they may have lost their feminine and, or they're afraid of losing their feminine, that they are on the verge of losing the feminine. And I'm also picking up on a bit of jealousy. A bit of jealousy and they're, they're viewing you as possibly having cut them off. Um, we'll see. I'm going to clarify these. There's something here that the masculine seems to have misinterpreted. And to them, they're seeing it as a loss or as a possible loss. Oh, <laughs> two of swords um, came out, which, yeah, I feel like there's um, something that they're not seeing clearly, something that they have not understood, something that is confusing to them. So that could be what they are, whatever it is that they have mistaken, right? That's what's creating that jealousy. It's like they have this false impression or some kind of impression. Maybe it's not so false, but whatever that is, it's creating a bit of... I mean, it's coming in as jealousy, but it could be like... It's like either jealousy or this fear of losing, losing the feminine. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Cups. All right, so this masculine, for this group at least, is tired of trying to move away from the connection with the with the feminine. Um, because again, like I said in the very beginning, it's like they're feeling the sense of entanglement with the feminine, that they cannot get away from this. And that's actually another message up here, that they cannot get away from, from what they feel, from their feelings, from their emotions. And so down here, There's this sense of, you know, just wanting to leave the pain behind, wanting to leave all this conflict behind. But even trying to do that, like by doing it in the way that they have been in the past, it's just adding more to the burden that they're carrying. 
basically. Why? Because they cannot avoid their feelings. And so there's definitely here something that the masculine wants to say. I feel like they want to communicate more from the heart about something. And for a lot of you, it has to do with something that you may have said to them or some message that you have given out to them in some way. Okay, so let's... Let's get a little deeper here. Let me clarify that top row, especially the Knight of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this is, like I said, like I just said actually, the masculine um, realizing that they cannot move away from this because trying to move away from the connection with their feminine has proved to be deceitful, deceptive. It's like, yeah, you know, they might win something by doing that, but it's, it's, it's a false victory. So that's the energy that they're currently in now. That's like their general energy. So I feel like for some of you, um, not all of you, but for some of you, it could be that the masculine is actually um, at the beginning part of this where they are actually trying to just move away from this and beginning to discover that they can't. And then for others of you, this is them already having realized that and really just coming to terms with, you know what, this is how I feel, this is how I'm always going to feel. There is no moving away from this connection. And what I also get here is that this is a gradual process of them moving towards this energy of actually going after what they want, going after their truth, standing up for themselves at all costs. So let's clarify the second row. we have the Ten of Swords. And then right next to that, we have the Five of Pentacles showing up again. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely talking about this um, fear of a loss, fear of being alone, feeling how alone they would feel if you really were not there, if you really were to just completely let this go. And really what that's making them feel is this Ten of Swords. It's a feeling of doom. It's a feeling of doom, very, very painful at the thought of, of losing you. And that's something they do not want. That's why this Five of Pentacles is in reverse. They're still feeling it though. There's, see the Five of Pentacles showing up again and now upright. They are feeling this. And because they're feeling like they're losing you, it's creating a lot of tension. It's creating maybe even like, I'm getting rage. And then remember how I said that I feel like there's this false sense, some kind of a misinterpretation of, of events or of the energies or of something here with, from the feminine feeling like, and that is creating that sense of loss or jealousy. And here it is, it's being confirmed here through the clarification, seven of cups with the knight of cups. Um, so it could be that some feminines have, maybe, maybe you said some harsh words or something that they interpreted as being very harsh. So some, some of these masculines, they feel like there might be somebody else, this Knight of Cups, um, coming in and that you might actually entertain that idea. But again, I feel like, or maybe there, there is somebody and maybe they know of this. Either way, there is some kind of a, um, an illusion around this, like they're thinking about this in a way where it's not very, not 100% accurate. Let me put it that way. It's not 100% accurate the way they're seeing it. But again, I feel like this is happening for a reason. 
it is to help them in some way. And I flipped this card over because it was the last card. It almost flipped over. So I flipped it over so I could remember to take it into account. It's the Four of Swords. So this is something that is actually helping them to, to heal, to heal something within themselves or within the connection. And it could also be that this masculine is kind of staying in the background, staying quiet, um, trying to just stay as peaceful as possible because they're not feeling peaceful deep down. So, but on the surface, they may be presenting themselves in that way. Um, all right, let's see this last row. the Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Cups, which may or may not have been in reverse and doesn't really matter. It's actually both, both the reversal as well as the upright energy um, being shown here. So the masculine is feeling like they're trying to walk away from where they feel like they belong. So I feel like there's an awareness of that, of them having tried to do that or of them doing that um, at the moment. And that's just adding to their burden. And this is actually um, they're actually beginning to question whether that whether that is serving them, because I feel like at the moment that's that's like the whole point here. That's like the whole message here is that this realization that they cannot move away from this and that by doing so it just creates more of a burden, more pain, and especially feeling like they're losing their feminine. So it's like really not trusting this strategy that they've been using up until this point. They're feeling like it's not getting them anywhere. So a part of what the masculine wants to express here, or is feeling, it's a lot actually. Number one, the love that they do feel for you and that they would want this, okay? That's like the most simple answer, but also how unhappy they are. And the unhappiness that they have created. And that is, um, this could also even be an apology for the unhappiness that they have that they feel that they have created. And it doesn't just go one way. I know that a lot of feminines feel like it's all the masculine's fault. And, um, you know, that the masculine is the one who wronged the feminine. And yeah, okay, you know, that could be true to some extent and in certain cases, but it's not as simple as that. This is a soul contract. There's a lot more going on here. And the feminine has his or her own lessons as well. And so a lot of what happens is also dependent on that. Nobody is to blame. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get at. Nobody is to blame. Things are These things are happening in a way where, yes, there are triggers, there are challenges, because that is the experience that we are meant to have. And that is what is contributing to the soul growth. And yes, it can lead up to there being a union between the divine masculine and divine feminine. So, but none of it, it, it's not about whose fault is anything, but the masculine is feeling apologetic. So yeah, let's move on to the feminine and just get a few cards, a couple of messages for the feminine, and then we'll see what's coming up. Right, so for the feminines, please. Interesting, we have chaos and we also have the high priestess of spirit. What is going on, feminines? What is this chaos? Um, I'm not feeling it so intensely like, like it doesn't really feel like this huge tower moment, but of course for some of you it can be. But something is being um, unsettled for you. Something is feeling unsettling. 
For some of you, it could be that you're not sure anymore of your um, connection here or whether you are on your spiritual path in the way that you are meant to. Are you, are you following your path? Are you, are you taking your lessons? Are you healing? I feel like there's possibly a little bit of confusion along those lines. Let me get just a couple more. have number seven which is um, lamenting so this is uh, a little bit of grief um, grieving hmm. I'm actually picking up on some some regret and I feel like there is a message here for the feminines um, you might be regretting something, something that you said, something that you did, possibly even this connection for some of you, just a few of you. I feel like most of you don't actually regret the connection because you feel like it has given to you. You know, it, it may have been painful, but it has already, it has also given to you. Um, but for some of you, there might be something, something here that you are either feeling regretful of feeling like maybe something was a mistake that you did. And the message is, no, there it was not a mistake. Sometimes we are meant to have certain triggers. There is a reason for them. And some of what you might think was a mistake on your end, it might actually be a lesson for the masculine. Um, so do keep that in mind. Something that you do that you might then think was the wrong thing to do, right, but it may have triggered the masculine in a way where they needed to be triggered in that way. And it may have triggered you, <laughs> you know, uh, consequently afterwards. Let's just get a couple of tarot cards to see if we get anything more on this. Oh, there is another one here. I didn't see it. Okay, which is also in reverse. We have judgment in reverse with the four of wands in reverse. The knight of swords in reverse for the feminine as well. We had that for the masculine and the nine of wands in reverse. All right. It definitely feels like the feminine is either feeling like like they made a, a, a decision or some kind of a discernment that was wrong for this connection, okay? And that, that could be just about anything. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. And this may be something that has already happened for you and you've already processed it, but it's showing up now. And for others of you, you might be going through this now or coming up. Um, really feeling like you made a wrong move here. It's not the case. It's not the case. Sometimes, you know, certain things happen so that you can have a particular experience. And I'm getting an example right now. Um, so I'm just going to give this as an example. And it definitely does not have to be the case for you. Okay? It's just an example. So it could be that, um, let's say the feminine um, walked away from the masculine, right? Um, and you were able to deal with this because it's you were it was your choice right it was you who walked away so yes it was painful maybe you had to you know close that door to some extent it was painful but ultimately when you do that it, for lack of a better expression you have the upper hand in a in a way okay um so then let's say the feminine makes contact then with the masculine and reaches out and now the masculine is the one ignoring you right ignoring the feminine so what's happening now is that you might regret that. You might regret having reached out because now the masculine is closing the door on you. But really what's happening here is that now you're being asked to 
still deal with it, still cope with that pain, but now you have the lower hand, so it's a lot more difficult because you're not the one who walked away. Now, you know, you might be the one who's being rejected, so to speak. Again, this is just an example. So that's a reason why that, that happened. And now you closing the door on them, walking, having walked away first, you know, that provided the masculine with a particular trigger. And even then, then ignoring you, again, there's something in it, a lesson for them as well. Because the story is still unfolding. So my point is, no, it, it's not a mistake, whatever you did. That's the message I'm getting here because I feel like it's creating a little bit of unsettlement for the feminine. Um, and again, you know, this might just apply to some feminines, not all of you. The masculine side might resonate. Maybe the feminine side doesn't. It's, it's okay. Just take what resonates. But those are the messages that wanted to come through. All right. So, and I hope that makes sense. So let's just see what is coming up from the masculine side. All right, we have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Hierophant. Okay, so there is still some contemplation. However, this contemplation is at least leading um, to some clarity, like that Seven of Cups that we had before when I was talking about the confusion or misinterpretation. That is clearing up, especially in terms of this connection, okay, between the masculine and the feminine. Um, for some of them, even concerning, you know, um, <clears throat> commitment or even um, social conditioning, rules, cultural rules, norms, something is clearing up here. But I'm getting that there is, there is still a little bit of, um, there is still some passiveness though. There is still some passiveness, but there is still this movement overall towards the connection with the feminine with a lot more clarity than before something is clearing up so that's always a positive right yeah all right and for the feminines i mean i feel like you are just meant to take in this message so um yeah let's see let's get an oracle card to close out the reading. All right, and we have blessed. There was one more that wanted to come out. All right, and not for you. <laughs> All right, interesting. So I feel like with the not for you, this is really going back to what I was saying about there not being mistakes. That is what is not for you, all right? Whatever it is that you feel was a mistake, whatever it is that you are regretting, it's not. Um, that's number one. And number two, the masculine is also coming to see what is not for them, all right? There might be something in their lives that is not for them. And the same could also be true for the feminines. So it's like really seeing what is not for you, there's a big um, there's a big lesson around what is not for you, either for the feminine, the masculine, or both. All right, um, but definitely also in relation to to regrets. Um, and the second one is blessed. So this is the support, the support from spirit to know that this connection is blessed. Yes, you are still on your path, and there is divine support for both the masculine and the feminine. Because it's easy to forget that sometimes. So that's why it's showing up here. All right, guys, I'm leaving it at that. I thank you all so, so much for watching and much love. Bye.